Hi, I'm Michael Serena, and I'm a ninth grade English and reading intervention teacher at Hesperia High School, and this is my first uh, full-time teaching position, as well as uh, my first year in the induction program. Uh, as far as my induction experience goes, my uh, coach or mentor, if you will, has been Joanne Scott, and uh, she's just been a great deal of support. The big thing for me is, uh, especially here in the secondary education, um, you kind of get locked up in your own little room sometimes and you're on your island you don't always get a chance to talk to people and other teachers as much as you'd like to um, to just see uh, new ideas and things of that nature so she's really been great somebody to talk to on a consistent basis um, for how much we meet and it has been uh, just a great way to get more ideas and uh, ways to uh, expand whatever ideas I already have and to really grow in a lesson or how to be able to connect uh, the lesson to the students and also giving me useful materials I've been able to use in my classroom all year long which has been such a great help especially for a new teacher not knowing exactly what I would need. Uh, the largest area of growth this year, I feel like it's really been in my unit building um, and really trying to make uh, more student orienting in designing and, and really trying to seek out readings, being an English teacher and a reading teacher, uh, trying to sought out readings that uh, the students would like and that would gain that interest and to get them to uh, become involved with the reading and, and, and when they are interested, um, the motivation level goes up as well. and. Um, I also like to give the students a little bit more of control in choosing their prompts and choices to write about and that's a big thing Joanne and I have um, spoken about this year and really trying to do some of those things to give the kids a choice to, again to increase that motivation. Uh, something new um, has been in fact creating those various prompts for students to get that student freedom. I know for me uh, it was a little difficult at first wanting to give those students the freedom to want to choose different topics. Uh, but with that being said, it also gave me a chance to be creative uh, with the prompts that I created because I knew I wanted to try to hit as many different student interests as possible in these prompts to give them a choice. And in doing that, I'm really targeted and hit multiple um, groups of students because of the fact of giving those choices. Uh, student success is, uh, and I can read it right here off the slide and expand on it, is uh, really been talking with a student at the end of the year and listening to how I helped them be motivated when there was no one, no motivation at home. And with some of these kids, they have either no motivation or negative motivation with, with parents and, and family members and whatever else or friends telling them, like, what's the point in doing any of this? Like, it's not... It's not going to help you or anything like that. And, and seeing students come up to me and talk to me about how much I've actually done for them this year and motivation and wanting them to do well and how it's carried over. And it's there, I have some students that are just passing my class and nothing else. And is, they say, I like your class. I like being in here. And for an English teacher to hear that is really exciting and especially to you know, hopefully potentially change somebody's life. Um, the next step, I just don't want to become stagnant by any means. I want to keep attempting to be creative and keep finding new ways uh, to bring uh, my material alive. I'm very energetic in my classroom and I want to be engaging at all times because if I feel like if I'm not engaging, um, I'm not doing anything positive. And, and for me, I either believe in you're either, you're either getting better or getting worse. And if I'm going to be stagnant, I, I'm definitely not doing either or. And uh, that's it. Thank you.